Hey guys, what's going on? 21st Century Moses here, bringing you guys a quick little video today. And I'm just trying to talk to you guys about some news in Call of Duty. Most people are making videos about this, so I might as well make a video about this. So what happened was, Activision confirmed that Sledgehammer Games is making the next Call of Duty. Not Treyarch, not Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games. What Sledgehammer Games actually did uh, lately, they made the MW3 campaign. And I played the MW3 campaign, I don't think it was that bad. Uh, I think some of them were a little bit better, but I'm thinking this was like m one of the better ones And I haven't even played ghost because I just I, I don't like ghost at all But like I remember the very end mission if you guys can relate to this But like you were in the juggernaut suit and you had like your um, light machine gun with like a hundred bullets or something like that and You just mowed people down And then uh, you end up killing Makarov spoiler. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> I just thought the end mission was super badass So maybe if they can translate that into multiplayer, it'll be a really 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 good game, but something like that so in 2014 it's gonna be such game 2015 it's going to be Treyarch and then 2016 it's going to be Infinity Ward so even if you guys aren't really happy about this on the bright side Treyarch does get an extra year to make their game so everybody's praising Treyarch now saying that they're the best developer for Call of Duty um, all kinds of stuff like that so they are getting an extra year I guess you could say to make their game Instead of having two-year cycles, we're going to have three-year cycles. So that is a lot better because back how it was just before we knew this news. Okay, so the game would come out and then they'd still have to be making stuff for their game. Like um, updates, uh, map packs, stuff like that. But they'd still be working on their next game. So they'd just be scrammed for time because then... Like the game actually... The game's pretty much done, like um, released and everything by around mid-September. Because that's when they go gold and they start making all their mass-producing their copies, stuff like that. So they do that, so they don't really do anything with the game until it actually comes out, because they may do like a couple updates, just um, fixing the connection issues, something like that. So that's when the game actually happens. So with the game, like development cycle is real short, but they're actually adding a whole extra year, so this is big news. So, and I guess ever since MW3, Sledgehammer Games has been making this, so this will be the first game that we've seen for a three-year cycle by the studio. <clears throat> and I'm really like wondering what kind of like setting this game is going to be so we have Infinity War who normally does around this type of era like um they did COD 4, MW2, MW3 and then Ghost so it's a little bit ahead you know but pretty much around the same type of era but in the past of Treyarch we've had World at War, we've had Black Ops 1 which was like the Cold War, we have Black Ops 2 which is futuristic and I'm just wondering what kind of things the Chamber's going for personally I want to see back to like um like back in the day maybe like a world war two game or something like that just because i haven't played one for a while everything's doing like current and i just want to see a little bit different <clears throat> and sledgehammer games they were at cod champs last year and people talked to them and everything but they didn't know they were going to be making this game and they actually said that they were real into competitive they like the competitive scene they like how it adds like a different dynamic so expect them to be a more like treyarch compared to infinity ward they're like i'm on the scale Treyarch is super competitive, Infinity Ward is the opposite. So they're probably going to be more around the Treyarch side of things, and I think that's really good. And also, the last bit of information that we have is Dr. Disrespect. Um, I'm not sure if his videos are still on YouTube, but I remember I used to watch him around like the Black Ops 1 days. But he, I believe he's the community manager for Sledgehammer Games. So he knows what everybody wants. He can relate to the people, all kind of babbly stuff like that. He just used to be a YouTuber. He's one of us. Or at least it used to be. So I'm thinking we we have a little bit of hope, you know. <clears throat> you know, I'm really excited. I believe that they're probably gonna have a trailer. It normally comes out around March, maybe April. It just depends. Like who's actually making the game. But Sledgehammer Games, we don't know. So just expect a trailer in like the, the next month or two. And I'm just really excited now. I think this is some cool information. I like change because I used to think Call of Duty is going to die. Maybe this can respark something. We have three more years coming. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. My name is Moses. I hope you guys have a great day and be happy.